Hello everyone, I want to continue from my last video about the Blender Octane Material Converter. I have a material opened with a simple PBR texture set. After the conversion, we have the following converted Octane material. So on the left screen, we have the original Cycles version of the material. And on the right, we have the Octane converted material. The first thing you should notice is that the textures are using RGB or grayscale image texture nodes. Any texture that has color should be using RGB nodes. And anything that is grayscale should be using the grayscale nodes. Pretty simple, right? So why do we have two image nodes? And that's because grayscale uses less memory than RGB image nodes. So one thing to notice is that if we switch this back to cycles, go back here. You see that the image textures here have a color space value, sRGB. And this one uses non-color. But if you look underneath, there's a bunch of them. We don't have anything like that for Octane. What we do have is Legacy Gamma. But most textures are either sRGB or non-color. You will notice that Cycle's texture no color space will be converted to 2.2 for sRGB and Filmic sRGB and 1.0 for everything else. Now let's go over what is converted and what is not converted. I crossed out anything that is not converted. Please take a special note of specular value. To preserve similar specular value in Octane, you need to double the cycles value. So in this case, we have 0.478. And when we convert it, it will be 0.96. Now we also need to note that in Universal Material, Specular value over the value of 1 does not have any effect. In most cases, your specular value will always hover around 0.5. If you want more reflection in your material, you're going to have to switch over to metallic and make it more of a mirror surface. If you have a grayscale value that's driving specular value, you need to double it in the power value. So in this case, I will let's take this grayscale value here and let's say I'm driving that into specular. So now I will go to powers and I would double that. Again, if the texture specular value after the power of two goes over one, it's not gonna have any additional effect. Also note that for texture driving emission, we're gonna have to go into texture emission node and the default surface brightness and double-sided will be checked because that's the default behavior in cycles and we need to mimic that by checking surface brightness and double-sided. Now, if you have a black and white texture that goes into displacement, let's pretend this is displacement, and we're going to drive the displacement in cycles. Make sure that it's in cycles first. And this should be a non color. And let's say it drives the displacement. We have to put in a displacement node. and it will normally go into a height. Let's say it's most likely gonna be a height map and this will drive the displacement. When we convert that over to universal material, instead of going into the material output, it will be inserted into the displacement of universal material. Let me show you what that looks like. So it will look something like this. This is how the octane converter deals with displacement. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. If you have any requests for the next Octane video, please give me your thoughts below. Thanks.